President Biden's student loan forgiveness plan is being debated, but the freeze on loan payments is coming to an end. It could happen any day now. And financial professional Brian Levy from BML Wealth Management joins us with an update on student loan forgiveness. Now people can prepare to pay off what they owe. Brian, good morning. Thanks for being here. Morning, Adrian. So can you tell us what is the latest on President Biden's student loan forgiveness program? There's been a lot of talk about it. Yeah, a lot of talk. So there's two things, Adrian. One is the debt ceiling deal. We all remember that a few weeks back. That included basically saying, look, we're going to end the freeze on student loan debt. So you can expect that to come back. Uh, and then number two, because it was a $400 billion executive order, it's now in the Supreme Court, those two lawsuits, uh, and we're expected to hear an answer on whether the, the program is going to go through, essentially eliminating up to $20,000 of debt uh, for people that qualify. Well, we should find out before the end of June, uh, mm -hmm. which is when really the Supreme Court goes on summer break. Right. Uh, so I'm assuming they're going to want to wrap that up before the end of the month. All right. So the next couple of weeks, uh, do you know when student loan payments would then resume? Do you think it would be at that same point? Yeah, actually, so we do know. So regardless of whether this goes through or not, the student loan interests are going to start accumulating in September, and you're going to start having to make payments in April. Um, so you're going to want to prepare for that. Excuse me, September, going to make payments starting in October. Mm -hmm. uh, so you're going to want to start preparing for that for sure. So how should, what's the best way for borrowers to prepare to make these payments once again? So I think the biggest thing is what do we tend to do when we don't have to pay something? We allocate those funds to something else. So number one, revisiting your budget uh, is a big deal. Um, and really think about creating a strategy of figuring out, hey, how do I now start allocating funds that I was using for something else uh, to the student loan debt, which in some cases could be over $1,000 a month. A big thing is you should go to the Department of Education website at studentaid.gov because they have different loan simulators, different loan calculators and abilities to go in and try and restructure your loan. Remember, it's like a credit card. You don't want to default because you're going to get hit with penalties and things like that. So, Brian, saving money for the future is super important, right? But, you know, the price of everything is going up nowadays. Uh, you also want to have that emergency fund. You really want to try to prioritize your savings. But what happens when you have debt as well? Do you put the money into savings? Do you pay off the debt? What would you recommend? Yeah, Adrian, I mean, as a retirement planner, we deal with this all, all day long, right? We try and plan for the future, but obviously we have to live for today, too. And it's that that balance between the two. We always encourage uh, our clients and the people we talk to, that you always have to still set aside, especially if you're working for an employer that has a 401k or a company plan, at least put in uh, for the match. So you get that free money coming in and planning for the future is so important. And if you're struggling, Adrian, with trying to balance the two, especially with the payments now coming back on student loans, talk to a retirement planner, talk to someone that can help you budget and prioritize um, so you can plan for the future. All right, Brian Levy from BML Wealth Management. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Great to see you. You can get more information at bmlwealth.net. Thanks, Adrian.